this little SD card, I have an entire operating system. It is amazing how this works. It's amazing. I love Linux. I love Raspberry Pis. I love to understand how they work and to figure out new ways in which I can use my Raspberry Pi. Guys, welcome to the show. Today, I just wanted to show you some of what I do on an everyday basis with my Raspberry Pi. And that's part of the purpose of the content that we are trying to bring to you guys. We want to show you some of the capabilities of the Raspberry Pi. When I tell you that on a day-to-day -day basis, I use my Raspberry Pi like a desktop computer, I am serious, guys. There is not much that I cannot do with a Raspberry Pi. And the fact that you can take something so small and so inexpensive and do so much with it. As you can see, I'm inserting the SD card into my Raspberry Pi. And I love this part. I love this part. We're booting up the Raspberry Pi. Hit the switch. You see the lights start to turn on. I don't really care for the home screen that normally shows on the Raspberry Pi. So I do like this home screen better. I like the colors. So that's what this is. So don't get confused. This is not a Windows machine that you are looking at. This is a Raspberry Pi. All right, guys. So we are now on the desktop. Uh, this is the home screen for my Raspbian system on my Raspberry Pi 4. And like I said before, it is a uh, Windows Windows uh, 10 theme here, kind of meant to have a little sarcasm. But I do really like uh, the color and the layout of this much better than the default um, Raspbian OS uh, screen. So. Uh, one of the things I wanted to show you today, I wanted to talk about Pi apps. So I started using Raspberry Pis, and it wasn't until a few months into using Raspberry Pis after I had gotten pretty well versed with the command line with the terminal, which is uh, this this uh, guy right here. It wasn't until a few months into using the Raspberry Pi that I came across the Pi Apps. And the Pi Apps is basically a app store for the Raspberry Pi. And that is just really cool. That is really cool. I wish I had known about this uh, sooner. There are some really interesting things in, in the Pi App uh, store. And I wanted to take a look at that. Now, if you are interested in installing this on your Raspberry Pi, I will put the command in the bottom here of the video down in the notes. So basically, while most of the time I actually am using the terminal window and the command line, it also is nice to have the desktop environment. And on my desktop, if I click on this start menu and I pull up my main menu, this is what it looks like. And I don't have some of the stuff that would come with the bigger package of the Raspbian OS system. Um, I opted for a lighter version because a lot of that stuff I just I knew I wouldn't use. And then I started to download more specific things tailored to to my needs and 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 desires and uh, most of these that you see here i actually installed using the pi apps a lot of what you're going to see here i installed using the pi apps and it is so simple it's basically just a couple clicks i'm gonna double click and i'm gonna click on the execute in terminal tab and it's going to open this up. So this is this is basically what you would see right here. And from here, you basically have all these different tabs that you can 
uh, browse through right here these are the ones that are currently installed on my device so let's uh let's browse through some of these all right let's click on the editors folder and look at all of these look at all of these wonderful programs that you can install this is incredible this really is to be honest with you a lot of these i've never used and uh, there's just so much stuff i i don't even know where to start with it um so uh pie charm that's that's a good one uh scratch uh, there's just so much stuff the sublime text editor i mean some of this stuff you you might be surprised to know that you can download this on a raspberry pi visual studio code i mean that's one of the most popular uh uh code editors in the world it's incredible all right let's click on back it's going to take us back to that main menu eye candy and this is going to be like you know your themes your tech your text editors your windows stuff like that uh color emoji font i believe this is just a library of emojis this is actually where i found my windows 10 theme which is right down here um i also have the power line shell that's a good one uh mac os theme that seems like that might be interesting let's move on there's so much stuff i could spend so much more time on this but i don't want to make this video too too long for you guys uh let's click on games i'm not into games myself but i do respect the craft and if that is your interest then um you can use the raspberry pi for that too it's actually a very very popular use for the raspberry pi is for uh emulators for video games so uh, moving on back to the main menu internet and quite a few things going on here as you can see some of this stuff uh it's pretty interesting this one right here loki net uh privacy focused network anyone can access using the latest in decentralized onion routing technology i just am so surprised when i see some of this stuff that not only can you download it on a Raspberry Pi, install it on a Raspberry Pi, but that you can do it right from the Pi App Store. They make it so easy for you. We have the Tor browser. Look, we got WhatsApp. We got Zoom. Yes, you can use your Raspberry Pi to Zoom. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I love it. I love it. I love the Raspberry Pi. I really do. All right, let's move on. And next tab, multimedia. All right, this is a shorter list. A lot of video players, YouTube players right here. We got FreeTube, privacy-friendly YouTube player, YouTube Buddy, simple YouTube search engine, downloader, and player. Moving on, last tab, tools. I'm double-clicking on these, by the way. All right, we got a lot of interesting things in this tab. So Android Buddy, a GUI for Android device recovery and maintenance. I mean, there are some very useful things here. Belena Etcher, that is something that I use a lot um, to flash USB drives. Uh, Clam Antivirus, we got Open Source Antivirus for, uh, program for your Pi. That's a great one. Commander Pi, that's a great one. Um, GitHub from the command line. Snapdrop, okay, that's a good one. Share files with nearby devices on the local network. This stuff is incredible. It is, it really is. Bearcrypt, you can use this to encrypt your drives. Wow, so much stuff. All right, so I've taken you through every one of these tabs. Now, I wanna install something just to show you how easy it is but we are going to save the install for the next episode so you basically have heard me ramble on for 10 minutes about the pi apps it is a wonderful project they continue to update it on a regular basis seriously guys go check it out it is really interesting and if you want to see how easy it is to install something then tune in for the next episode of this series and we will show you how to install something from the pi app store thanks for watching guys